Hi friends, this is Mayesh Kumar, our YouTube channel is Matthews. In this video, we are going to discuss about the introduction to EZ transform, definition of EZ transform, application of EZ transform. The first one, introduction to EZ transform. The EZ transform is useful for the manipulation of discrete data sequence and has acquired a unique new sig uh, significance in the formulation and the analysis of discrete time systems. It works to identify whether the systems are stable or not and also to determine the frequency responses of the system. The EZ transform converts the discrete time signals which is a sequence of real or complex numbers into a complex frequency domain representation. That is, the signals are in time domain. It is converted into frequency domain by using the transform techniques. The next one, the Z transform is an extension of the discrete time Fourier transform. We consider the discrete time Fourier transform and Z transforms. For discrete time Fourier transform, the definition is x of e power j omega equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n e power minus j omega n. And here the function is considered e power j omega. And this function e power j omega is extended to r e power j omega that is z. So the definition for discrete time Fourier transform is extended to x of r e power j omega equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n r e power j omega the whole power minus e and substitute this r e power j omega as s z. So this expression is simplified as x of z equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n is z power minus n. So the actually x of n is changed into capital X of z by using z transformation. So the definition is z of x of n is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n is z power minus n. And this definition is classified into three categories. One is bilinear is a transform. If the sequence f of n is a sequence defined for n equal to 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, etc., then the z transform of sequence of f of n is denoted by z of f of n and is defined by z of f of n equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f of n z power minus n. And the next, next one, unilateral z transform. This unilateral z transform means if the sequence f of n is a casual sequence, that is n is greater than or equal to 0, then the z transform of the sequence f of n is denoted by z of f of n and is defined by z of f of n is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity, not minus infinity to infinity, it is 0 to infinity, f of n is at power minus n. The next one is z is transform for discrete value of t. If f of t is defined for discrete value of t, where t is equal to n into capital T, for n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., to t being the sampling period, then the z transform is z of f of t equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n into capital T into z power minus n. So these are the classification of this definition of z transform. Now we will see the applications of z transform. The first one, this z transform is an indispensable mathematical tool for the design, analysis and monitoring of systems and this z transform is used in 
PTV discrete time systems and also this is a transform is used in discrete time signals and systems then is a transform is also used in stability analysis of discrete time systems then is a transform changes the difference equations into algebraic equation thereby simplifying the analysis of discrete time systems then finally is a transform is a new technique to identify the earthquake instead of applying discrete time fourier transform thank you for watching this video if you are like please subscribe our channel matthews thank you all